Hi, YouTube. I'm just going through my chaotic mess that is my teaching bin and trying to reorganise things. The annoying thing is that people have always had catch-ups and stuff on random days. So now I've got to go through and re-sort them into their original days or the days they're changing to. Basically every single week this happens where um, somebody's in the wrong folder or whatever because they had a catch-up the week before or they decided to change days. Like, for example, today is my first day where all my Monday students, except for one, have moved to Tuesdays. So now I've got to go through my Monday bin, folder thing, and transfer them to Tuesdays, and then take out the one that's remaining, have it separate for now because I don't know what slot he's going into, and I've got to write up all their plans based on their plan from, from last week so that I remember what I'm teaching today because I've got so bad baby brain and my memory's just terrible. So if I don't do this, I basically will forget what they were learning and what warm-ups they do and if they have any special things they need to do. Like for example, I was teaching a girl on Saturday and I completely forgot that she did not know how to read, even though she's about nine years old. So I gave her a book of tongue twisters and I said, here, here, read this one out. And she just stared at it blankly. So that's a classic example of if I don't have lesson plans custom made for each student every week, I will forget something important like that and devastate the student and lose their trust. <laughs> so I really have to do this. But um, I used to do it all computerised and stuff and like hand write them in the lesson and that just took too much time. It took about probably 10 to 15 minutes per student every single week. Um, so now I've just got a system where I just copy out of the book, I just look at what they did last and then I just do that and it only takes 5 to 10 minutes per student. I would love to be able to do it after the lessons like that day because then it only takes six minutes for the entire day but I didn't do that last week so now I'm suffering for it. Look how cute he is. We thought that we would try and just see what he would look like in the toddler angle of the pram. <laughs> He's obviously way too small for it. But it is really cute. So I'm cooking some um, soup. It's called Iris stew. But I don't even really feel like it. I cooked it because my husband was like, Oh, we can have it as an appetizer. But I don't really feel like it. And he just said he's not going to eat it. So, I don't know. It'll probably end up in the fridge or something. Because I don't really want it. So he ended up having four beers last night. I don't know, he's got two left. Robot. Not Liam. <laughs> I've just got home from work. It was really good. I was able to fill the gap um, with a student who's going to do an hour, so that's good. It's nice when it works out like that. Long story short, we were able to tighten the straps enough with a blanket in there that we feel safe and secure that he's not going to go anywhere. We even like tested a guy like this and the other way, and he cannot move in there. So we think that he's a little bit small for it, but you know, um, I think we're willing to use this because we'll have more boot space, it's a lot lighter which means that when we go for walks and stuff it's not such a struggle and everything and it's a lot easier to manoeuvre the wheel and the bassinet isn't in there as well and he seems fine, his head hasn't tipped forward or anything um, me and my husband just watched a childhood obesity show, part one and part two and um, we saw lots of kids get their teeth extracted and all that kind of thing. And it's really, really made us think that we really need to get into a better habit with things like brushing our teeth, going for a walk, um, eating habits and all that. You know, Liam's going to start realising that we're eating soon. So we really have to be more vigilant with what we eat and really start planning meals better rather than, oh, what are we going to have tonight? What have we got? Chips, you know. So um, I ended up forcing myself to eat the soup that I'd made because I realised if I put it in the fridge that it just wouldn't get eaten. So I just ate it anyway and then I forced myself to eat the salad of my lasagna before I ate everything else. And that was a really good plan because I could end on a nice part of the meal. Um, I usually do that but for the last week or so when my husband wasn't here I just sort of slacked off with everything. Um, so I'm really going to get back into that habit now. I just like brush my teeth and then my husband Liam and I just um, walked around the block twice really fast. He seems to think that if you walk really really fast paced 
for say 10-20 minutes it's a lot better than going for a two hour stroll. So let me know in the comments below what you think. We tried it, I didn't get that puffed out but um, I started to get pain in my leg so I thought you know we'll just start off really small. Basically my legs just been buckling under me occasionally and it doesn't feel safe so we were gonna go for another one around the block but I just my leg wouldn't do it. So you know rather than push myself and get a sprain or something I would rather just um, you know get my muscles happening and get my body used to it. But the walk seems to put Liam to sleep. He seems to love the pram. He was screaming when we left and as soon as we started going he just stopped immediately and fell right to sleep and he doesn't even need the dummy you know when we're walking or whatever when we're in the car um so we're considering maybe doing this two times around the block thing as part of his night routine so i'm not sure how we're going to incorporate it yet but it looks like it puts him to sleep so <laughs> it might be a good part of his routine we're also considering maybe starting to just rub his gums a bit so he gets used to it when he needs a toothbrush. Although I'm erring against it though because I've read that um, it can cause the teeth to come in earlier which will be hindering for breastfeeding so I'd rather not. Um, let me know in the comments below what you did with that and what your thoughts are on that. Um, but yeah, I don't think we'll probably start doing that realistically until he gets at least one tooth which I think will be about six or seven months. So I was going to do some editing tonight but I'm just so tired. The plan tomorrow basically is my husband's got a photo shoot in the botanical gardens in town and I've got at least one student that I know of at 4pm. I may have another one, I can't remember. Apparently not. So um, I guess I'll just sleep in, clean the house a bit, relax, do lesson plans. And um, yeah, I don't know, probably edit tomorrow as well. So have a good night, um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll leave you with a shot of Liam asleep in his adorable pram. <laughs>